Alright guys, my name is Meta Goblin, and today I'm going to be giving you 10 tips to level faster in classic World of Warcraft. Even though I have 10 tips in this video, I still aim to make it nice and short and sweet. Just before I jump in guys, please do give me a quick follow on Twitch, as when classic launches I will be streaming on Twitch. And let's jump into the video. One thing I will mention before we go into the tips guys, is you may want to check out Joanna's leveling guide. Basically, it's a leveling route, which is probably the most optimal that you can follow. This guy who made the guide, you know, he does actually hold the world record for leveling 1 to 60, so I will check that out as well. But anyway, let's jump into the tips. For number one tip that I have for you is make a fast tagging macro. A fast tagging macro will look something like this. It will be slash clear target dead, slash target enemy no harm, then slash cast arcane shot, moon fire, or anything you want. Another version of it will be slash start attack, and then slash start gouge, right? The reason why we have a macro like this is for fast tagging. You don't want to be waiting five minutes for a mob to spawn, and I'm doing that five minute wait over and over and over just to get to kill one mob for a quest, right? For melee, I'd recommend, you know, getting the, into melee range and then spamming the macro I have above. You know, preferable with an uh, instant damaging ability if you have one, because that will tag the mob even faster. But ranged are normally going to be the kings of fast tagging, especially hunters because they can use a trap. For number two, I have a quick one. Always log out in and in. After one night of sleeping and going to work the next day, you can be logged out for about 15 hours, which can easily give you a few good bars of rested double experience. You may also you know, be going away for a few days, which means you will accumulate even more XP. So always remember to pop your hearthstone, get back to the inn or a capital city, and then log out. My next tip is called safe grinding. You may get into a situation while leveling where there are too many people doing one quest, which means it would slow down your leveling if you waited around to get a single mob tag. Or another common one is the faction wars that happen at Stranglethorn Vale, where it will become impossible to turn in your quest because the opposite faction have total control over Nessing Wary's camp. My advice in this situation would be to grind, right? Find a place that is underpopulated and just safely grind away a few bars while well, rather than wasting time waiting for mob tags or to turn in a quest. My fourth tip is similar and is specific to when the game launches. In the starting areas there could be potentially thousands of people trying to do like one quest, which means it would take ages to get any quests completed provided that the game launches without sharding, so a good alternative will be to plan out an exploration route where you can essentially spend 30 to 50 minutes walking along a route, discovering locations, until you hit about level 5. During this process you will be also doing some fetch quests and discovering flight locations which can save you time in the long run. Alternatively, people find it useful to group into a 5-man group, find a quietish area ahead of the starting area and just grind mobs until about level 5 instead. So it's up to you with what method you want to go for. For a number of like exploration video basic exploration route videos out there that I would recommend you checking out as well and I think I'm personally going to do some of my own very soon so look forward to that. My next tip is to kill mobs fast, right? What I mean by this is you need to find the most optimal DPS rotation for your class capable of killing enemies the fastest, right? Luckily I have class guys on the channel so be sure to check them out. Another useful tip is to remember there is no resurrection penalty before level 10 so be mindful of where the spirit healer is because you might be able to just die teleport back to the village and then turn in all your quests and save a massive amount of time. For my seventh tip, I would recommend researching your dungeons. Dungeons alone are very time inefficient for gaining experience, although they are a fun experience where you can make friends, so I'd never disencourage you from doing them, but they will slow down your levelling. However, if you collect enough quests for the dungeon, then you know you can get a good chunk of XP from a quick dungeon run. Luckily, a fan of a channel, he you know, shared me with a, basically a spreadsheet in the comments section with all the dungeon quests on, and I will link that also in the description. And I also have a video evaluating which dungeons are worth it and which ones are a little bit of a waste of time, so that's another video to check out. For our eighth tip, I've put down weapon progression. This is especially important for melee classes, the hunter, and obviously casters that use a wand often. Most of your damage is going to come from your raw weapon damage. Stats can't really contribute that much, unless they are stacked high, which is hard to do without farming blue dungeon gear. So look up your weapon progression. Um, again, you know, I have class guides on the channel, sorry for like plugging my other videos again, but you know, there are a lot of class guides on this channel with weapon progression lists, so 
do do your research and it will benefit you. My ninth tip, I would recommend grinding while travelling. If you have to walk a little distance to your next quest, you may as well do grinding on the way. Any time spent not getting XP is basically a waste of time, you should imagine yourself as a systematic XP farming machine. There's no need to skip mobs, right? Just kill them and get an extra, you know, a little extra XP. And in the long run, this will stop you from getting quest starved, right? And getting stuck where you just can't find enough quests. Some people always recommend grinding a level or two between zones so that you are a little higher level than the enemies you are dealing with in the next zone, which means your weapons won't have a severe penalty to their hit chance, but that is more of a trick for the melee classes. But at the end of the day, I will just recommend getting off your mount a little bit more and killing stuff on the way to your next location, and that will benefit you, especially if you find an area which is underpopulated and not a lot of people are killing those mobs. So my last tip also has something to do with gear, and that is spirit stacking. Most guides out there are going to recommend for you to stack your primary stat, but many people have tested that sp stacking spirit will actually speed up your levelling because it reduces your downtime between mob pills, not mob pills, mob pulls, since you won't have to stop, you know, sit down and eat some food, so you might be doing a little bit less damage, but you will be saving time in the long run. Alternatively, what, what you can do is get a set of spirit gear in your bags and swap them around with macros. The downside to that is you're using up more bag space which means less money saved up which it might, it might be more difficult for you to save up for your mount so that's one thing to bear in mind. Anyway guys I'm going to end the video there. My name is Metagoblin until my next video. Ciao.